Hey, welcome to Hanson Speed Shop. Today we're looking at a Ford Econoline um, truck. And I actually originally got this truck just to use the wheels off of it for another build. And then um, I decided that I was going to make this kind of into a drag truck um, slash kind of gasser. Um, right now I just have it mocked up. Um, just to see how it would sit kind of I might raise the front up a little bit but this truck originally came from Hot Wheels like slammed down on the ground um, and we're raising it up um, so this was just to show you guys kind of where I'm starting from um, these wheels are not what I'm probably not going to use I'm just using them to mock this truck up um, and then we're going to repaint the truck obviously in detail and make a cool um, 60s drag truck kind of gas or something a little bit different um i personally at first was not a fan of this casting but uh, i recently seen um a real one um done up in a kind of old school gasser and i thought it was super cool so it gave me an idea of that i could use this for something because i wasn't really planning on doing anything with it so um We'll get this thing stripped and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, getting back to our Ford Econoline truck, uh, 60 style drag truck kind of gasser build. Got this thing painted and it turned out really cool. I seen um, a truck at the Fallout Drags 2019. If you want to go check that video out, it's super cool on the channel. Uh, Pre-1966 drag meet. And, uh, held yearly at Rock Falls Raceway in Wisconsin. Um, definitely a cool event if you like vintage drag cars and gassers and front engine dragsters and just a super cool thing to get out and see. Um, but that I seen a truck there that was called uh, Hauling Ass and had a little donkey on it. Um, so we're gonna kind of do that kind of a look on this truck. And it was painted kind of a satin um a satin turquoisey blue color so this isn't the exact color of the truck but i liked this color i found um from krylon and in, this color is actually called satin um satin sea glass and it's kind of a greenish blue kind of turquoise color and it's a satin finish so that's what we did this truck in um, and then we're going to detail the body with some logos. Um, and it's going to be super cool. Um, and then I taped the interior off and then painted the bed um, to match. Because you'll be able to see this, you know. So I wanted to leave the interior black. So we just taped that off and painted that as well. So that is the truck so far. Um... Also, I'm not sure if we're going to run these or not. Probably, if anything, for sure, uh, in the back. Because I got these um, wheels, or Hot Wheels wheels. Um, they kind of, they got they're not super wide. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to run these yet. But this was kind of the wheel I want, style wheel I want to run in the back. Not really this style so much in the front. So still debating whether i'm going to use those or not um and if i do use this in the back i probably will paint it um possibly white so that is the truck so far um it's coming out really cool so stay tuned for some more updates on it and it's going to be a really cool truck guys all right guys it's time to take a look at the haul and acid kind of line and see all of our work pay off for a super cool truck i'm really happy with this one here it is and as you can see it turned out just super awesome i really really happy with this one um it's got great detail um it's not 150 percent you know exactly like the real truck but that wasn't really the idea i just kind of liked the real one and wanted to do kind of my own version of it and just have it really 
heavily inspired by it. Um, so we're going to kind of skipped over some of the building in on this one. Uh, I'm just trying to get a lot of stuff done here. Uh, but I'll go over everything that I did, really. So, um, you've seen we painted the truck, uh, the sea, sea glass, I believe it was called. It's a satin color. Um, and then I hand did the haul in on the side of the truck. Um, first in white, then I uh, went over it with an orange to give it that drop shadow look. And then I tried my best uh, to hand paint the little donkey uh, behind that. And then we detailed around the back window and around the side windows in satin white. Uh, and then did the degas logo behind the uh, side window. Uh, detailed out the door handles. Uh, we did decide to go with the back wheels like I talked about. And then we did those in a white. Uh, the front wheels are something I found in my parts box, and those are actually Hot Wheels wheels. Uh, they're kind of an older uh, Real Rider wheel uh, that actually run a solid axle instead of um, instead of these this style axle. It actually has kind of like an M2 car would have. Um, and then I painted the center of those a darker gray. Uh, taking a look at the front of the truck, just detailed out the headlights. Taking a look at the back of the truck, did the Ford in a satin white, then detailed out the taillights. Um, and then you can see we did around the back window in the white. And then in the bed, I just kind of finished off that skateboard that's in there and just did the wheels and the trucks on the skateboard here's a look at the driver's side of the truck basically exactly the same as the other side i think it might have did a little bit better job on the donkey on this side um it has a really cool like 60s drag truck stance though so that worked out really well um, taking a look underneath the truck. Hold on a second. We'll get some paper towel down so we don't scratch this thing up. Um, so we did the whole chassis out in a gloss black. Um, I used a piece of aluminum tubing for the straight axle. Uh, and then just ran the original axle inside of that. Um, and then the rear axle is just glued underneath the chassis. Um, the exhaust, there's a side exit exhaust, as you can see, and that was all bent up out of aluminum tubing as well. Smaller diameter than what I used on the front axle. And then I just detailed, uh, the oil pan out in Ford Blue and detailed the tranny out. And that's about it underneath the truck. But as you can see, this thing just is super cool looking. I'm really happy with it. I hope you guys think it's cool. If you do, give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you think of the truck. I'm going to put some pictures up of the of the real truck that I used <clears throat> as inspiration for this build. And let me know if you think it pays homage to that. Uh, here's, again, the back of the truck. And then this side of the truck one more time. So, that's going to do it for the haul and ass Ford Econoline truck. Stay tuned for some more pictures of the truck. But otherwise, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, get out, work on your own projects, get your hands dirty, and we'll see you on the next one.